ago, this is Bitcoin. Uh, today we have $48,300. Uh, I'm going to start off with what I spoke about last week. I spoke about the moving averages. The 20 and 50 period moving average. Uh, last week I said that we needed to find support above the 20 period moving average. And as you can see here, we managed to... You know, we, we broke below the 50 period moving average. We, we got an, a court, court price pretty nice. And then we managed to break back above the 20 period moving average, which is is very bullish. It's a good sign. You know, it's a sign of strength. If we was not able to hold above the 20 period moving average, then we would have uh, went back down to the 50 period moving average and try to see if it would act as support again. And if it was not able to act as support, then, you know, we would have broken back down into in the 42 uh, K area, lower 40s. So this is a good sign. This is, you know, this is healthy. This is good for price action. That's, you know, that's it's a very bullish sign. So, you know, it, it's, it's pointing that price action is going to be moving a little higher. It's going to be moving upwards. And, you know, I, I, I like to be, uh, you know, people, I'm not bullish or bearish. I'm just realistic. I just, you know, I just talk about what I see in the market and, you know, I trade accordingly. So on on the other side here, I'm seeing this bearish pattern forming. You know, it's it's on a four hour chart. It's not the daily chart, so it's not as uh, strong, but I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this because if this pattern plays out, this is normally, it's normally, it's, it's an ascending wedge. It's normally a bearish pattern, meaning that normally when this pattern breaks out it's going to choose a direction it's going to go upwards or it's going to go down uh, it's going to break downwards by breaking one of these trend lines it's going to break the lower trend line or it's going to break the higher trend line so eight out of ten times this pattern or nine out of ten times it normally breaks downwards which means like it's going to break one of these trend lines but it's it's on a smaller time frame and at the end of the day it's bitcoin but, you know, just to be safe on a safe side, I will be keeping my eyes on this and I'll keep you guys updated on that. So we know if it, if it, if it was to break down on the downside, like if, it, if this trend line does break and, you know, we get confirmation that it's heading down, the downside target will be back at $44,000. So, you know, we none of us really want that. But, you know, in the realm of all possibilities, it does exist. And I'm going to switch over here to... Uh, I've been. This is my chart, my CPR chart. That I've been talking about uh, last week, and also with the Fibonacci retracement levels. And I said that we needed to uh, find support above this yellow line, which is the fifty percent Fibonacci retracement level. So we have successfully been able to do that. So which means, like you know, it's it's more likely that price is going to move upwards than back down into the 40 range the lower 40 range because this area is acting as support so since this is acting as support the you know the next target will be up here at 50k at the 61.8 so technically right now we're still in the golden pocket which is still very bullish we're we're above water right now and what we want to look for in the coming weeks is a, a daily close above the 61.8 which is you know a daily close above 50 grand yeah, so we want a daily candle to close above fifty thousand dollars, and that's gonna be you know some great news. We'll, we'll we'll be able to breed a little bit more deer, and so fifty grand is the target from from Fibonacci. So that's our upside target will be fifty grand, and with this uh, ascending uh, wedge. Uh, our downside target will be 44. So those are the two uh, numbers we're going to be looking at, 50 and 44. And here uh, we have this uh, channel that that formed back then, back in uh, early in the month, and we did ha we had a breakout. So, and guys, patterns occur in a market. We keep our eyes on for oh, out for these patterns because the patterns kind of predict what's going to happen next, and that's why you know we're always looking for for these patterns. We're looking for these patterns because you know once the pattern breaks out it, it kind of follows it follows you know a, a formula and knowing the equation to the formula you can you kind of know what's not know but you can predict what's coming next not out of guessing from tin air but by doing calculations so when this pattern normally happens you to, to measure the target this channel 
you measure from the top of the channel to the bottom of the channel and then you move that distance upwards and looky here so the target for for this the target for this pattern the wedge sorry the channel is up here at 50k so we did have a we we, we broke out of this channel as you can see we broke out healthy breakout retested it which means price tried to fall back inside and the the bulls did not allow that people bought up bought it up and now we're moving upwards so the target is at 50k so this is another uh pattern that's pointing bullish for the coming weeks and uh, last week i spoke about this here we had a we had a breakout of this pattern we've broken out and if you can look here, I, I, in the group chat, I said that we I was seeing this double bottom forming. We did manage to break out from the double bottom, and now we're retesting the neckline for support. So like I said, guys, the levels to look at that I'm going to be keeping my eyes on over the weekend and in the coming days. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this uh, ascending wedge, and I'll let you guys know if it's broken. And, of course, the Fibonacci Upside upside uh, target is at fifty thousand dollars at the sixty one point eight and downside is forty six eight and as you guys know like we just need to hold this level this Fibonacci this fifty percent Fibonacci level this yellow line by all means we want to stay above that to continue uh, our path to to the moon so <laughs> this yellow I'll be keeping my eyes on this yellow line if this yellow line breaks we know we're going to be heading back in the lower forty range. Once we keep moving forward, 50, 50, once we flip this uh, 61.8 into support, then, you know, our next target will be the all-time high at 64. So, well, I, we'll have to get through 56, okay, and then we'll create a new all-time high if this bull cycle is not over. Okay, guys, take care. Enjoy your weekend.